Okay, so welcome to this video on global variables as part of the series about the Moodle formula question type. Okay, so here we are within our Moodle question bank. We're going to select create new question, formulas question type, add that in. I'm going to name my question here delete dash global variables. I go into the variable section, I create a random variable. The first one is going to be called length and it's going to pull a number between 2 and 5. My second random variable is going to be called width, and it's going to pull a number between 6 and 9. Now, what I'd like to do is use a global variable to call in those two random variables and multiply them together to give me an area. So for my global variables, I'm going to name my global variable area, which takes the length and multiplies by the width. And there we go. Now I'm going to go down into my question text and write up some text for this question. So my text part 1 determine the area of a rectangle, provided the length is length and the width is width. And I'm going to use a placeholder for the answer for this particular part of the question. The placeholders being number sign part 1. Now I go down to my part 1 and I write my answer in here. My answer of course is going to be area. I want to change the grading criterion to absolute error to 0 so that students must write exactly the answer of area. And for my placeholder name, I'm going to use number sign part 1. Now, let's save it and preview it. We'll save the changes. Hit preview. Determine the area of a rectangle provided the length is 3 and the width is 6. Well, we should have an answer of 18. We'll check it. It seems to be working. And there we go we've now utilized a global variable as part of our first question. Let's learn more. We go up to variables and we'll add more in here. Now I'm going to add another random variable and this random variable is going to be something called my number which is going to pull either the number 1, the number 4, or the number 9 into various parts of my question. For my global variables I'd like a global variable called my num cube that basically takes my number and raises it to the power 3. Now notice here I'm using the pow function and the hat function does not work in our instance of Moodle. So we'll use the pow function. I'll create another global variable that I'm going to call square root my num and it's going to take the square root of my number. And there we go. Now we need to add some question text in here that's going to ask students to cube the number that they're given or take the square root of the number that they're given. So in my question text, I'll orchestrate a part two. And for part two, I'm going to say my number is my number. And I'm going to put some text in here to ask students to basically put the answers in. So my placeholder here is part two. Now, of course, what I need to do is open up part one. And I need blanks for two more parts. There we go. So I've got two more parts to the question. And of course my answer for this part of the question is going to be the list of my num cubed alongside the square root of my num. Both of those things are going to be in here. My grading criterion, well, I need this to be absolute error equals to zero. I need students to specify the, exactly the right answer. The placeholder that I used up in my question text here was of course part two. And for parts text here, I need to place text in that says part 2, A, and first ask students to cube, and then B, ask students to square root. So, part A, the cube of my number is something, and the square root of my number is something. I'll format this text as I want to. There we go. Notice I'm using these placeholders here. This underscore zero in curly parentheses is saying the first answer is this, and here is saying the second answer is this. So again, your arrays, as normal, start at zero. So this is the zeroth item in the answer array. This is the first item in the answer array. There we go. Okay, let's test it out. Save changes. Oh, the variable my num cubed has not been defined my number cubed. So I go back up and I have a look. Ah, it's not called my number cubed, it's called my num cubed. 
So I go back down and I change this to my num cubed. Save changes. All good. Preview. Determine the area of a rectangle provided the length is 4 and the width is 6. Well, that should be 24. My number is 4. The cube of my number is 64. And the square root of my number is 2. We check. And all is correct. It's working. Okay, let's build some more. We go up to variables. And let's now build a global variable. And our global variable here is going to be called convert mark. That it's going to take a radian measure and convert to a degree measure. And the measure in radians that we're going to convert is pi by 4. Okay. So there we have it. We go into question 3 now. So we go to our question text and we place in question number 3. Is pi by 4 converted to a degree measure is what? Fix a few things here. There we go. We'll call this part 3. And away we go. So we've got our question text nicely formatted. I'm going to go down to the bottom where my parts are. I need another part. So blank for more parts. There we go. And of course what I just did here was I used a placeholder for this part called number sign part 3. And my answer of course for this part is just going to be the variable convert mark. I want absolute error equals to 0. And let's preview that. So we save it, preview it. Okay, so it says determine the area of a rectangle provided the length is 4 and the width is 7. So we have 28. My number is 1. The cube of my number is 1. The square root of my number is 1. And now our new part 3 says pi by 4 converted to a degree measure is, of course, that's 45 degrees. And we check it, and all is good. So it's definitely working. And so that's it. That serves as a really nice introduction to global variables as part of the Moodle formulas question type.